Hello there, all you Minchers lovers on the interwebs. <clears throat> I'm Doc Eon, coming to you on another Monday. This time, Monday, the 7th of March, 2022, with some uh, ramblings about miniatures. And you can see here the stuff that I finished this week. A whole whopping six models. Not my best uh, numbers, but not the worst either. So, sort of in between. These are all Reaper Bones figures. See, we have two identical dwarves. I gave them different hair colors to separate them. Slightly different, one is more reddish and one is more light brown. Uh, but otherwise they're very similar. We have two sort of civilians from the Brinewind expansion uh, of for the uh, from the Bones 5 Kickstarter. We kind of butcher, kind of salesman. Then we have a very old armored knight. Uh, old in the sense that it's one of the first Bones figures ever made. And we have a very new uh, Gnoll figure. And uh, yeah, that's them. Not much to say, really. Uh, it's maybe a little bit of cheating. To, I, I, I prioritize finishing the Bones minis because they're eh, they're easier to paint. Uh, some of those metal minis I have going that you'll see shortly are they're very fiddly. They have a lot of tiny little detail on them, and that sort of that always puts me off a little bit because eh, how am I going to paint this? You know that feeling. But I will finish them eventually. You know I always do. Uh, anyway, let's move on to there. Looking at the miniatures being worked on on my table, you can see some are left from last week, some are new. There's been some change. Some have been removed and put in the finished pile. Uh, the ones that are still here haven't seen that much work, of course. But I am happy to report a new um, event that will move things forward. See, you might remember before the pandemic, I used to spend Monday evenings painting at the game store, my local game store, because they had painting evenings. And well, they were a combination of miniature painting and, and playing Magic the Gathering. Uh, that's how they uh, financed the events. Uh, anyway, I, I was painting. I, I don't play magic anymore, and um, and I was really disappointed that, that that the pandemic put a stop to that. Corona virus meant you couldn't meet and paint together. But it's starting up now because restrictions are being lifted here. So tonight, actually, I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna bring some of these minis with me. I think I'll take some of these pirate ladies that that are sort of. Sort of 25% done, and I'll finish them up. Because what happens when I go to those painting nights is that I focus simply on painting for several hours, and I don't, I don't futz around as much as I do at home. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm, I'm really hopeful it's going to increase my productivity by a lot. And, you know, whatever I don't get done th there, I'll finish up at home later in the week. So, that's my plan anyway. We'll see next week how it went. And, uh, well, this video isn't over. Let's look at some newly prepped stuff and some new arrivals. So this Murderer's Row is, uh, as you can see, some Reaper Bones minis. As you can perhaps see. These are the last uh, seven human figures from the Brine Wind expansion. There's a lot of more humans in the Bones 5 Kickstarter, and there's more models in the Brine Wind expansion, but these are the last that I, uh, fulfill both criteria. As you can see, there's a bunch of, like a Swabby, a guy with a ship's hook, a ship's barber. This is just some adventure fell over. Here we have a captain with a chest, somebody with a pistol and a barrel, and uh, somebody with some sort of tools. I'm guessing you know, like a ship's carpenter or something. So yeah, 
they've been cleaned and th there was not much Again, these were very, very, very free of flashing and, and mold lines, so I basically just washed them in, in uh, dish soap and, and um, <clears throat> straightened out a couple of bent pieces. And they're ready to be primed. And they'll have some more paint on them by next week. Yeah, so the last of... Uh the things in miniature fashion that, that are on their way to me in the mail have arrived. It's a it's a box from Hassle Free Miniatures in the UK. It's a several minis, uh, eight minis in fact, plus a lot of bases. I one of the reasons I placed this order was that they're one of the few places where I can get bulk uh, packs of just ordinary plastic bases, which I need to. I use them to rebase uh, minis that have very small integral bases. Um, but anyway, I also got some minis while I was at it. And all except one are by Has to Free themselves. Let's see if there's one. This is the Goblin Shaman from a third party. Um, it's one of the other companies that Has to Free resells. Uh, they're, they're phasing that out, but they had this guy left and I, I thought he looked cool big nosed goblin so I grabbed him and um, otherwise it is a few humans and a few dwarves we have a dwarf named Rika uh, another dwarf named hey you which is a dwarf wizard and uh, there, I think there's one more yes here it is Angela which is Angela, uh, which is a sort of a dwarf princess. Then I got actually three copies of the same figure because this figure Mira has so many options when it comes to heads and hands that I decided I, I actually want to paint several versions of her. So I got three. And finally there's uh, this figure who has a huge collar, pop collar, known as Countess Mia. Now I don't know if I'm going to start painting any of these right away. I might. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I, I haven't thought it through yet. Uh, once again, I'll you'll be surprised next week, perhaps. But the reflection I've made is, generally speaking, um, I've not ordered anything new in a while, not this month. I'm, I've, I've looked at, uh, I, I talked before about how I'm kind of disappointed in, in the bonus offerings from Reaper lately. And looking at what they're offering for March, I just, no, uh, I, I don't need any more minis right now. And the offer is not good enough for me to place an order despite not needing anything. So yeah, I'm gonna take a pause on that. And hopefully, I can keep doing that, you know, because I've been feeling a little stressed lately that I'm not keeping up. My, my, my purchased versus painted numbers are not yet in the black this year. And I, I have a backlog from, from before. I was, I'm, neg I'm negative from, from previous years. So I want to, you know, turn a positive result and start chipping away at the mountain of lead uh, this year and the best way to do that I think is to curb my purchasing so if I manage to do that I won't feel so stressed with the painting I can just sort of take my time and paint it at my own pace and still you know be in the black is what I'm hoping so I I've, I've pretty much decided I'm gonna try really hard not to buy any more minis this whole year now of course if somebody makes me an offer i can't refuse that's gonna break i mean uh if one of the companies i i regularly buy minis from like offers a huge sale or something like that 
Ah, uh, the temptation will probably prove too much. But, <laughs> you know, uh, just looking at normal prices and normal uh, availability, uh, I'm good. I don't need any more minis right now. Uh, because, uh, not not for gaming, not for painting. Um, yeah, that that's another other thing that might might change my tune a little bit is if my gaming needs change, because currently the only campaign I'm running is is the one that is a sort of fantasy nautical slash pirate theme, uh, which might might uh, go into Lost World territory at some point, but I have tons of minis for that, for that theme. I don't need any more really and, and some of them are still left to paint even so um there's no need to purchase anything more in, in that regard and you know but maybe later this year i'll start up a different campaign in some other game with my other group uh, i have no idea yet what that will be if that happens even if i can't convince somebody else to keep gming in that group but there might be like, you know, maybe if, if for example, I have an idea for sort of a post-apocalypse campaign using Mutant Gear Zero. Uh, and I don't have that many minis suitable for that. <laughs> so so if, if, if something like that gets off the ground, I might need to buy some more to, to, uh, to use with that. But otherwise... Yeah, I, I think I think I I might be able to keep my um, my impulses in check. That's what I'm hoping. Anyway, enough rambling. Time to put a lid on this week's rambling. Ah, oh, like this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it rambled on a bit at the end. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so before. Share the video, comment, but above, above all, be back here next week. Same day of the week, same channel, same Dakiyan, who is now signing off.